All right, welcome back to my opinion. Um, this video is going to be about the sexes. Is there a spectrum of sexes, like some claim, or is there male and female? Only. I've been doing a lot of research, a lot of reading and stuff on this topic, and this is my opinion, my conclusion. There is only male and female, scientifically, biologically. Now, is there different genders? Or maybe not genders, but people who is, you know, transsexual, uh, uh, people who are in trans of being another uh, gender. Is that real? Yes, of course it's real. Um, for example, if you're a hermaphrodite, okay, you might have both male and female organs as well as features. Um, and I have actually known one years and years ago. Here's the thing, though. Upon my research, up to this date, this is subject to change because it's science, um, I have found that science uses biology and scientifically there is male and there is female. Now I know you're thinking, well, there's scientists who say different. They don't really say different. They just stay out of it because let's be honest, it's cancel culture. And if you're a scientist, no matter who you are, you could easily get canceled, fired, and everything for saying the wrong thing, even though it's true, even though it's scientifically true. All right, here's the way male and female works. You are either a male or a female, biologically, scientifically. If you're a male, you have... testes, the organs to recreate, procreate. You have testes. If you're a female, you have ovaries, the organs to procreate. Now, if you were born a male and you're becoming a female, you, through transition, you are still a male and always will be, scientifically. Because you do not have reproductive organs of a female, ovum, and vice versa for a female becoming male. You can have a penis in, put on, implanted, etc. You can have, take testosterone, years of surgery, etc., 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 and look just like a male, function sexually just like a male. But biologically, you are a female because you still have reproductive organs or the capability of reproductive organs. You can have your ovaries removed and everything, the fallopian tubes, everything to make you more feel like a male, but you will never be a male. You are just a female who had all that removed. It, just like a, a woman who's had um, a uh, hysterectomy is not a male. They're still female. It's the same thing, almost. Um, a, a lot of people... And that's not to say that, you know, we shouldn't call men who have become female, who have become women, um, what they want to be called. That's fine. That's like, uh, look up uh, on YouTube, uh, Blair White. Okay? She was a dude. Once upon a time. Now, she's still a, a male biologically, but she's female. If you look at her, she's a woman. I, I'll call you. I'll call her a woman in a heartbeat. Um, she looks like a woman. She talks like a woman. She acts like a woman. You know, she was born where she felt born a male, scientific, biologically, and felt like she should have been a female all these years. And when she got older, she changed 
to become what she felt like she should have been. That's fine. Hey, you go for it. You only live once. Be you. Do what is best for you. Screw everybody else, okay? But you cannot claim that you are a male if you have, and, and she doesn't, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying her, um, you cannot claim that you're a male if you don't have testes and you don't, you, you, you can't reproduce uh, with sperm, obviously. Um, that's just science. That's, that's the scientific recognition of male and female. Now, hermaphrodites, for example, I know what you're thinking. Well, okay, what about them? Well, they're not born with both reproductive systems, okay? They're born with one or the other, even though traits may look female. For example, a hermaphrodite might be born with testes and etc., but also have a vagina or vice versa. But because of the testes, biologically, scientifically, that's a male. Nature is not perfect. This is just nature. And this happens in animals, too, believe it or not, um, according to the research. It's just science, you know. A hermaphrodite can be born with both penis and uh, vagina, clitoris. Doesn't mean they're both. It's what depends on their reproductive organ. Is there testes and there's not? Let's say there's not, but there's ovum, ovaries. Then that's a female, scientifically. May look just like a guy. May look like a dude. Still a female. It's just, it's, it's nature. It's science. It's just the way it is. Research it on your own. See what you find. I mean, I believed in the whole spectrum thing. Now, here's where the spectrum comes in. The whole spe spectrum of sexes. There's male over here, and there's female over here, and there's lots of in-betweens. There is, gender-wise, okay? Not biological. There's not a he-she over here. There's not a he-he-she over here. None of that matters. The chromosomes will dictate whether if you're male or female, what organs you have, you might have a clitoris. A very large clitoris and not have a penis but look like a dude and, and you may have boobs and you may not, you know, be a, a, a woman, a female. Gender is something different than your sex. Okay, your sex is the biological term, the scientific term of what you are reproductively. Okay, gender is what you feel like you are or your traits like, you know, uh, do you grow hair on your body? Do you develop breasts? Do you have um, a clitoris? Do you have a penis? You know, there are males who you would think is a male who's born with a very large clitoris. It's a penis, but they decide to just make that their clitoris and they transition <coughs> into becoming one or the other. And, they, and basically, you know, they have to choose what they want to be. And now the whole debate of, you know, should you trans position a child it kind of depends if you're born with both at some point you're going to have to whether if it's you as an adult are going to have to choose one or the other you don't have to you don't you know this is a cultural thing believe it or not we can honestly if we could get over the whole stigmatism and the whole uh culture of you're either a guy or a girl and say, okay, well, you gender-wise, you can be whatever you want. You're in that rainbow. If we could all just accept people for what they are and move on, 
we wouldn't have to worry about people growing up scared to go to gym practice because they don't have the same things that everybody else has. We could just accept. You know, it'd be like a Star Trek uh, show. Millions of aliens out there. Not that they're aliens, but we could just, the rainbow, the spectrum. Everybody could just relax, chill, and the gender spectrum is real. Just like male and female, biologically, scientifically, there's two. But in the gender spectrum, tons of differences. All right, that's it. That's my opinion. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and uh, be yourself. This is uh, this is going to go on two of my uh, um, uh, YouTube channels uh, on my opinion and also on um, my more science-based YouTube channel, which is called a, um, a Friendly Atheist. All right. Like, share, and subscribe to both of those. Thank you. It's, it's going on the same thing because it's very, so, so close. Thank you.